Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really quick marinated cucumber and red onion. This mixture or condiment is one that I personally like to keep in my fridge pretty much all the time. It's a great addition to salads. You can eat it on its own. You can throw it like I do with some liver in the morning, uh, anything. It's just a nice little touch to have around. So very simple. There's a couple of different ways you could cut the cucumber and the onion. You could slice them or you can dice them. So I'm gonna actually dice this one. I like it to be a little bit more pieces rather than slices. It's up to you. A little bit curved. It's a little bit tricky. Down the way, half and half lengthwise. Huh. I sliced it lengthwise first, and then did those slices down the middle a lot faster to cut much more up rather than doing what I was trying to do at first, which was cutting in rounds. There we go. Okay, so we got all that cucumber in there. And then you're going to use roughly one red onion. Again, you can slice or dice however you wish to do it. I've talked to you guys before. I'm not a huge fan of actually cutting onions, so I cheat when I can. I buy them pre-diced. And then this is about the amount for a small red onion. Maybe a little less, but that's okay. The exact amount doesn't matter too much. Put that in there. You could mix it down further if you want, but the idea with this is that it's actually gonna sit in the fridge for a while, so it's gonna mellow itself out anyway, and it's gonna sink down. So, there's that. I'm gonna add some whole black peppercorn. I'm gonna just put some peppercorns in there. I wouldn't recommend eating those peppercorns, but uh, you know, adding them to the mix just adds a little flavor, a little spiciness. Add as many as you like as you like, don't have to add any. I'm gonna take my apple cider vinegar, shake it up, and then I'm gonna use as much as I need to to cover this, relatively, there we go. So I don't need to cover it all the way to the top, but you can see that it's pretty well covered, right? You can see some of that apple cider vinegar coming through in places there, yeah. So that's, that's what we're looking for. You could cover it all the way to the top, this container is just quite, not, not quite big enough. It's just a little bit small, so I'm not gonna cover it all the way. And then I can put the lid on. If I had a mason jar that I wasn't already using, I would throw it in there, then you could shake it all up even more, but this will still work too. So, now this is gonna go in the fridge, and it's gonna get more yummy the longer it's in there. And then we can use it for whatever we wish. All right, that's it for today.